Let's start the video. Now coming at number 10 we have Maji de Watashi Naikoi Shinasai. Haramanime is filled with lots of beautiful girls who are there to perform some great fan service. Maji de Watashi Naikoi Shinasai. Walks on the same path. There are lots of pretty female characters in the series. The show also has an underlying samurai theme. It is one of those shows which you should watch for entertainment. Also, since the show is eki your entertainment will be visually appealing too. One of the most popular things about Japan is the samurai. The samurai were skilled swordsmen who were active in feudal Japan. They are highly revered in Japan. The story takes place in Kawakami City. The city is known for its love and respect for the samurai culture, since most of the citizens' family members used to be samurai. Even students use the knowledge of the samurai to lead their daily lives. Yamato now is a high school student. He has a tightly knit close group of friends. They share the same samurai ideals. One day two girls are allowed to join the group, and that's when things don't remain the same. Now at number 9 we have freezing. Most anime makes it seem like the future is gonna be worse than anything. Monsters or aliens are gonna run wild and destroy our existence. But then the anime tries to push in little hope in the form of certain humans training to defeat those powerful enemies. Freezing kind of capitalizes on that principle. It is set in a distant future which might be decades ahead of our time. The Novas is a monstrous alien race. They attack us and cause death and destruction. To defend against them we try to fight back, and the battles are known as Nova Clashes. The only hope of survival against them is Stigmata implanted in men and women. Stigmata grants them superpowers. Men with Stigmata are known as Limiters, and women are known as Pandoras. They are trained in military academies to improve their skills to fight against the Novas. Kazaya Aoi is the main character of the series. On his first day in the academy, he walks into a battle royale conducted among the Pandoras. But then he sees Satellizer L. Bridget and thinks that she is his deceased sister. He hugs her and this makes her lose the match. Bridget is known as the untouchable queen, and when Kazaya isn't propelled by her, she is surprised and asks him to become her limiter. Thus, starts their journey to defend Earth. At number 8 we have Amaichi Batsu. Watashi wa Kanshu Senyu. Pet look, here's the thing. I have said in the intro that I won't be including hentai. The anime Amaichi Batsu. Watashi wa Kanshu Senyu pet is not actual hentai, but its theme and visuals kind of blurs the line. Also, I am guilty of including an anime which does not depend on its plot, rather it depends on its eki nature. If you are well versed in anime you will understand what I mean when I say that this show is just around 3 minutes per episode. This means that the show has a total content of around 40 minutes. The reason why I decided to include Amaichi Batsu. Watashi wa Kanshu Senyu pet on this list is because I wanted to give you guys at least one anime which has been extensively made for the eki genre. Also, if you are offended by rape, sexual violence, then steer clear of this. The setting of the anime is quite dark as it is set in a prison in the future. Aki Mayajin is the prison guard. Hina Saddam is a beautiful girl who has been imprisoned despite being innocent. Aki is quite sadistic and toys with Hina in the prison. Though Hina at first is afraid of Aki's domination her body slowly gives in to the sweet torture. If you are into that kind of stuff then this might be entertaining. At number 7 we have Hayaka Ryaran. Samurai Girls. This anime also depends on Eki stuff, but still, it was kind of fun to watch. I like the premise of the anime, and the plot was nice too. The show has lots of beautiful female characters. The plot of Hayaka Ryaran. Samurai Girls is set in an alternate world. If you are acquainted with the history of Japanese samurai, then the names Matabe Goto, Senator Takigawa, Yukimura Sanada, Hanzo Hattori, Kanetsugu Nao, and Jubei Yaju might sound familiar to you. They are all famous samurais who were quite popular and were known for their valor. But in this alternate world, they are sexy minimally clothed females. 
This world is still under the rule of the Takagawa shogunate, and these girls are sent to an academy to hone their skills. The girls need to train hard to become master samurais who can then challenge the oppressive regime of the school students' council. At number 6 we have Yuragi Su no Yuna-san. Fayazara Kagarashi is a high school student. He just wants to have a normal high school life. But he has a unique ability to see ghosts. He has been possessed by evil spirits since he was a child, but as he grew old he was able to fight back. Fayazara is trying to find cheap accommodation. He comes across Yuragi Manor which is quite cheap because it is haunted. Having dealt with ghosts pretty much all his life Fayazara takes the deal. The other tenants of the house are beautiful women, and when Fayazara decides to help the ghost of the girl haunting the manor to fulfill her unfinished business, the other tenants start revealing their supernatural secrets. It is going to be a fun stay for Fayazara in Yuragi Manor. At number 5 we have Devilman, Crybaby. Devilman? Crybaby is one of the most popular anime that was released in 2018. The anime aired on Netflix. So, if you are a Netflix subscriber then be sure to check it out. Devils can only take form if they can find a human host. But if the human is strong-willed then they can use the powers of the devil for their gain, becoming a devilman. Akira Fudu is a kind-hearted guy who is always willing to help anyone. So, when his friend Ryu asks his help to uncover some devils at a party he agrees. But the party turns out to be dangerous as devils start possessing humans and things get violent. Akira cannot let Ryu die, so he merges with the devil Amon and gains enough power to defeat the other devils and save his friend. Now, Akira is a devilman and he uses his power to neutralize devils who pose a threat to humans. At number 4 we have Hagyur Yusha no Aesthetica. The premise of this anime is set on something that happened over three decades ago when many people were sent to a laser for carrying out certain missions which, if they were successful at, would grant them unique abilities. Akatsuki Asawa is one of the fateful ones to be able to return. But he has brought back Mew, the daughter of the Dark Lord whom he defeated. Now, they need to keep her identity secret to live peacefully. But there are quite a lot of challenges ahead as they were sent to Babel to learn to use their powers. There are some nice nude scenes in this anime. Third, we have Senran Kagura. Ninja Flash. This story revolves around a group of five young girls who are training in the secret ninja academy, the Hanzo Academy, masking itself as just a prep school. But soon they realize everything is not going to be as smooth as they thought, since there is a different darker group of shinobi who are adept at being a ninja. The girls must train hard and obtain the power of their ninja scrolls to become better. Being a fanservice anime there are some sexy nude scenes and lots of eki scenes. Second, we have Black Lagoon. Black Lagoon is one of those anime thrillers that keeps you glued till the very end. The series is set in a place in Thailand called Ronapur, which is dubbed as a crime haven. Rakiru Akajima used to be an ordinary businessman from Japan, but is abducted and held for ransom by a mercenary group named Black Lagoon. Having been abandoned by his boss, he now needs to become a mercenary himself to survive on the dangerous island. Though there aren't many nude scenes in the series, a few semi-nude scenes can be seen here and there. Now coming at first we have Samurai Champloo. This anime is one of those kinds where an odd bunch of people has to be together despite their differences to serve a purpose. Fu is a waitress who accidentally spills a drink over one of her customers and is now being constantly harassed by some samurai. She asks another customer Mujin for help who quickly defeats all of them. But he then makes the mistake of attacking Jin, a ronin who is much more skilled than he is. They end up destroying the shop and killing a magistrate's son which puts them on death row. Fuu saves them by hiring them as bodyguards to go on an adventure to find a legendary samurai. There are a few eki nude scenes in this anime. This was the list of top 10 nude anime. I hope you liked the video, if you liked our videos smash that red subscribe button, if you have not done it yet then. For now bye and meet you at my next video.